Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's video, we're going to be unboxing the K-Move 61 Snow Fox. This is the white color and this does have brown switches. They have many switches available. I got way too excited and actually opened this and already tested it out. So we're just going to kind of re-unbox it. On the right side, you have the type of switch, which we do have the brown one. And then they have many different ones that you can get. So you can get wired Bluetooth Khalil or Khalil Box, Cherry RGB, Gatoron different model numbers as well. This one is the Bluetooth slash wired version with Gatoron brown switches. So anything in brown basically will be the things that checks. On the back of the box, you have the product description. So you have the keyboard layout right here on the left. And then on the right, you have type C RGB lighting, anti-ghosting, 50 million keystrokes, 60%, PBT double shot keycaps, hot swappable function, and a 3000 milliamp battery, which is insane for wireless keyboards since most of them have between one to 2000 milliamps. So this is a bit of an extra boost, which is really nice for many different reasons. So let's get straight into it. All right, so here it is. On the left-hand side, you do have three switches. I already put the three switches in there, but they were, you get a green switch, a red switch, and a white switch. So here's the keyboard. So far, really good presentation. It's surrounded in foam. Here is the keyboard itself. It has a black accent trim right here, which I think looks really sleek and modern. I really do like it. It does have a really good weight to it. It's a lot heavier than most other keyboards out there. I personally like a lot of weight to a keyboard, so you know that it's, you're getting what you pay for, so especially if it's wireless. We'll put it to the side, we're gonna check out what else we have. So right here we have the keycap puller and the switch puller in white, and they're both branded from Keymove or Keymove. Underneath that, we do have a braided Type-C to USB-A cable. This is a reversible USB, so you can plug it in either way, it doesn't matter. And then obviously Type-C at a 90 degree angle, so you won't have bending issues and it looks a lot nicer. Underneath that, you do have a user manual. So it just shows you different functions of the keyboard. That's really cool. And then on the bottom right here, you just have a big warranty card. So you just sign up with one year warranty which is nice to have. Like I said, there was three extra included switches. It's the white, green, and red ones. And then I do have the brown one to the side. So these are stock on brown for this keyboard right now. And then we do have these. So white, green, red. So just remember the placements. Brown switch. White switch. Green switch. and red switch. So that's what that sounds like. You can experiment with this keyboard with any type of switch. As long as they are a three or five pin, you'll be good to go. Also on the keyboard, you do have a on and off switch as well as a Windows or Mac function. And that'll just help with the latency and just overall performance. On the right side, you do have your USB Type-C, so for charging or a wired connection, in case you don't really want to use the wireless for whatever reason. On the back, you do have branding. You have rubber feet on the bottom corners. And then on the top corners, you do have your feet. And these do have rubber feet on the back side as well. And then when you flip them out, they do have more rubber right here. So that just gives it obviously an extra kickstand and more resivity and a better angle. This keyboard already, can, I can, I love it already, especially the font and the, and the easily visible functions here. You have the arrow keys easily visible at an angle. You can just look at it without like looking directly down at the keyboard, like other keyboards, like this one, for instance, it's all the same color. You can't really tell really quickly di differentiating the functions and it takes a while. Whereas this one, all you have to do is just look at the blue font and it's really easy to spot. So let's go ahead and turn it on. And yes, it is on. So that's uh, that's the brightness level on that. Let me just show you for a comparison. So that's the brightnesses. This is the Dyer DK63. And this is the, and this is the Snow Fox. So the brightness on this isn't the best, but it's not the worst. Let's go ahead and turn off the light so you can actually see it. So now you can go ahead and see it. So we're gonna go ahead and change the function. So, so when you hold down the function button, you do have your three modes for Bluetooth. You can differentiate and that's Z, X, and C. And it is written on the keyboard keycaps as well. 
pair with three different devices and switch between them simultaneously. If you hold the FN and the backslash, you can go ahead and change the modes. So quotations to increase the speed. And that's the max it goes. And the semicolon to decrease the speed. That's the slow it goes. So that's really cool. They have a ton of stuff. Um, most of it will be in the booklet, like I said before. So if you do get uh, lost or whatever on some of these and you don't know exactly what they do, read the manual and you'll be good to go. But most of it is self-explanatory because it has the FN and then you can just read any of the symbols on the keycaps themselves. So you don't have to technically use the manual. Just look at the keyboard itself. So I'm currently modding this keyboard. Uh, I already did the stabilizers for the space bar, but I'm working on the other ones and we're gonna be modding it even more. But for now, we're just gonna do a sound test. This keyboard uh, just on stock feels really, really good. Um, this is the green switch, by the way. This is the red switch, and this is the white switch. So they all sound really, really good. This does have a foam. It does have a foam within the PCB. Uh, it does have foam to help dampen the sound. It does do a pretty good job. I might put a little bit more extra foam or replace it with thicker foam, because this is pretty thin, but it does do a pretty good job. That's what the battery looks like, if you were wondering. It's basically the size of like a smartphone, so it's about 3,000 milliamps, which is accurate. Yeah, that's the, that's the keyboard. But other than that, the keyboard is really, really good so far. I'll go ahead and show you how to set it up. All right, so once again, um, I already explained it. I uh, have this off right now. These are north-facing LEDs, like I said in the beginning. This is what the stabilizers look like. So to pair it, it's pretty simple. Just press FN, hold it. And there's three Bluetooth modes that you can pick from. So you can have three different devices, one on your phone, one on your iPad, one on your laptop, or any different device that supports keyboards. Hold FN, right now it's connected to the Bluetooth one. You can press and hold on one, two, or three. Press and hold it until it starts flashing rapidly. It'll be kind of like a red and then it'll flash blue kind of. And then that'll be in pairing mode. And then you can go ahead and start pairing it. And then we can go ahead and set it up right here and it is connected. Obviously, when you first set it up, it'll be down here in your Bluetooth settings. It'll show up as a new device, and then it'll reconnect from there. But then from here, you can just switch different devices. So if I press two, it'll go into pairing mode. Since I don't have a device set up for two, it'll just flash. And then for one, it'll flash for a bit, 
and then it'll connect really, really fast too. So now I can easily play and pause just directly from here. It's really fast too. Like the Bluetooth on this is just really, really quick. Also, if you want to see a video of me modding this keyboard or any other keyboard in general, just leave me some comments down below on what you recommend, like keycaps or switches that you recommend or want me to try out from a company or brand, and I'll 100% take it into consideration and do it in the next video. If you're lucky enough, I'll also give you a shout out. See you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.